Uh, I joined the Air Force because I wanted to just kind of get out of my little small hometown, explore, and see what the world had for me. I'm a senior airman and I've been in a little bit over three and a half years. So the AFSC is 1 Charlie 3 X1 and it is Command and Control Operations. It previously it was known as Command Post. I got this job while I was in Denver. I didn't really know much about the job and it sounded cool so I put it on my list and wasn't really what I was expecting it to be. I was interested in Boom Operator, Loadmaster, and Special Missions Aviator. I signed a six-year contract, that way I could get uh, A1C whenever I left tech school. Uh, my tech school was uh, Keesler Air Force Base in Biloxi, Mississippi, right on the coast. Uh, my tech school was approximately six weeks. Uh, tech school was a little rough. They gave a lot to you to study, then sometimes you couldn't study what you were learning. But it was fun because there was a lot to do around the area. Uh, you can really be stationed at any base, plus uh, some NATO bases overseas. On average, we work about 50 hours a week. Most of the time, they're 12 hour shifts. With this job, there's a lot that you can do with uh, FEMA and other organizations like that. So the deployment tempo, we're one in four, but with how small all the offices are, you don't really deploy that much. I've been in three and a half years and still haven't deployed. Uh, I'm not sure yet if I'm planning on making it a career I still have little bit of time to decide so I'm kind of keeping all my options open and making sure I don't shut any doors. So typical shift, uh, you get in approximately 20 minutes before your shift's supposed to start and you do all your checks and shift changeover to include checking what aircraft you're following that day because we flight follow all inbound and air outbound aircraft. With flight following the aircraft, it's just making sure that they're leaving on time, getting what they need and making sure that there is no issues. And throughout the day, there really is no, this is what's gonna happen at this time, this is what's gonna happen at this time. It's based on what's going on, so how there was the gate runner that happened in the UK, our job would immediately be, or command control operations would immediately be notified, and we would talk to the commander to find out what he wants to do and disseminate the word of what he would like to do. So you guys would be the ones to kind of like disseminate the message that like the base is going on lockdown or yeah. something. So we are the, we run the Giant Voice and we also run APOC. And then with our job, there is actually a checklist for every single item that is on there. We have 800 different, or 700 different series of checklists and each series is a different thing. And then a CBC, which is your daily stuff. I was at Joint Base Pearl Harbor Hickam for the missile inbound that we were supposed to get hit with by North Korea that was inadvertently sent. So my job, we fielded 450 phone calls within 30 minutes to find out what was going on and at the same time communicating with the wing commander and all of our group commanders because we didn't know if it was real yet or a inadvertent message. So even some crazy thing like that, we had a checklist that kind of cover what we should do, who we should call. Each series is a different type of checklist. They're not all like one through 100, like a 500 series checklist is weather. You normally have about seven checklists right there. A 700 is kind of miscellaneous checklist that can cover multiple different things. A 200 is just everything involving flight following from aircraft is 30 minutes late, so we have to start kind of looking for the aircraft and seeing where they are, seeing if they're just running late, departed, their previous station late, diverted, or uh, in worst case scenario, did have to ditch the aircraft somewhere. So you guys are kind of like the brains of the Air Force, like base in a way. Yes. Is, you're kind of or like the nervous system, I guess. Mm -hmm. It's like the commander kind of says the word and you're kind of relaying that to everyone else and then vice versa, if other things happen, 
it comes to you and you relay that to the commanders. Yes, we get notified of every little thing. If uh, security forces gets called to somebody's house for noise complaint, domestic violence, or like the largest thing that you would see, missile inbound, gate runners, normal things like that. For new people coming in, I'll just say um, be prepared for long 12-hour shifts. Uh, we have to have two controllers on shift at all times. So if you're working a 12-hour shift and it's you and um, one other person, you cannot leave for, to go get food. They can't leave to go get food. You can step out for five minutes to go to the bathroom. That's really it. So just, um, just showing up to work every single day prepared for really anything. Um, with the bunk, I come with two, to, two small meals and a bunch of snacks every day because uh, you never know. You can put your food in the microwave but not get back to it for another three hours. So you're just snacking on little small things. Uh, just for new people, just be smart with your time and be smart with your money. It is very easy to just kind of waste your money, blow your money, then uh, you're PCSing and you realize that you just don't have any money to do anything with and uh, you want to do all these fun things before you leave, but you just can't. Uh, so you can reach out to me at my Instagram. It's uh, Eric, but with two E, so E E R I C 821 or at my Facebook, just uh, Eric Savage. And my wife does have a YouTube channel that we've been uh, kind of trying to work on. Uh, YouTube channel is Moesha Roof. I'm just like military spouse, with vlogs, and uh, thanks for vlogging the, the PCS. We've been trying, but <laughs> there's an issue with her camera and she can't figure out how to change something on the screen. Gotcha. But it's actually a camera you guys used to use. I'll, I'll look at it, I'll fix it for yeah. you guys. <clears throat> and then you can get back to documenting. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, she hasn't posted in a little bit, but we are looking at posting just whenever we get to uh, Langley, just uh, new, new things for us to do. Uh, we did do quite a few.